Hello and welcome to Race for the Future. The purpose of this weekly video blog is to explore concerns, uh, raise awareness, uh, endeavor into teachings which enable us to open our eyes and open our hearts to some of the injustices and the uh, racism that permeates our society today. Things to which I am a new student, and I would imagine most of us are as well. As we uh, journey together week by week, my hope is that the ideas that we explore will compel us to act, and the uh, lessons that we learn will help us see a path together with our brothers and sisters of color here in the city of Houston and beyond. Today's topic is the concept of not remaining on the sidelines, never to be a bystander. Elie Wiesel taught that the opposite of love is not hate, but rather the opposite of love is indifference. In order to be fully human, according to Elie Wiesel, we have to feel something. To be a vital human being and not an animal, we must have sensations that move our emotions. That is what makes us intrinsically human. These emotional responses compel us to engage the world around us. Remaining indifferent, therefore, leads to a sense of cold-heartedness, and it is not Jewish in any way, shape, or form. These same ideas that are embedded in these words by Elie Wiesel are found in our Torah. In the book of Deuteronomy, we have one of the most important and powerful commandments in the entire text. It says, Lo tuchal lehit alem. You shall not, you must not hide yourself, or you shall not be indifferent. These five words, which are nestled in part of the Torah, which articulates countless ethical commandments, is there to tell us, to teach us, to implore us, never remain indifferent when it comes to the plight of others. Some of these same sentiments can be found in the words of Benjamin Franklin, who was encouraging the people of his time to get involved, not to sit on the sidelines, not to sit and wait for change to happen. Ben Franklin said, justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are as outraged as those who are. The truth is that justice and change rise up only when good people refrain from being bystanders. Justice and change rise up when good people refrain from sitting on the sidelines and remaining silent. Justice and change rise up only when good people Follow that important commandment. Lo tucha lahit alem. You shall not hide yourself. You shall not hide yourself from justice. You shall not hide yourself when it comes to the dignity of others. You shall not hide yourself when it comes to balancing the inequities in society. Justice and change rise up only when good people choose to do inconvenient and uncomfortable things. Friends, we are at a time when there is a great deal of discomfort in our society, but we cannot just sit on the sidelines. Our task is to remain engaged, and the first step of engagement is learning and listening. In the weeks and months to come, I hope that this blog enables us to listen and to learn 
so that we will not sit on the sidelines and that we will be able to honor and observe the commandment, lo tuchal lehitalem, we will not hide ourselves at this time of crisis. We will not hide ourselves when it comes to justice. We will not hide ourselves when it comes to the plight of our brothers and sisters who have for too long been in a position of inequity and disparity in our nation. We will stand together. We will learn together and we will march forward together as we endeavor in a race.